Hello and welcome. This is the Greenmar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion for Tuesday, September the 6th. Today we are continuing to read the book of Exodus chapter 3 verses 13 through 22 today. Here's the word of the Lord. Moses said to God, suppose I go to the Israelites and say to them, the God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they ask, what is his name? Then what shall I tell them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. That is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. God also said to Moses, say to the Israelites, the Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever, the name you shall call me from generation to generation. Go, assemble the er elders of Israel and say to them, The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, appeared to me and said, I have watched over you and have seen what has been done to you in Egypt. And I have promised to bring you up out of your misery in Egypt into the land of the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites, a land flowing with milk and honey. The elders of Israel will listen to you. Then you and the elders will go to the king of Egypt and say to him, The Lord, the God of the Hebrews, has met with us. Let us take a three-day journey into the wilderness to offer sacrifices to the Lord our God. But I know that the king of Egypt will not let you go unless a mighty hand compels him. So I will stretch out my hand and strike the Egyptians with all the wonders that I will perform among them. After that, he will let you go. And I will make the Egyptians favorably disposed towards this people, so that when you leave, you will not go empty-handed. Every woman is to ask her neighbor and any woman living in her house for articles of silver and gold and for clothing, which you will put on your sons and daughters. And so you will plunder the Egyptians. And this is the word of the Lord. The article today is titled Cause to Be by Kyle Tyler. Here's what Kyle writes. Moses asks a pretty fair question. Who in the world are you, faceless voice in the burning bush? However, he doesn't get a cut and dried response from God in the mountaintop meeting. I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob would at least offer a little context. No, he says, instead he gets, I am who I am. That sounds powerful, a real mic drop. But what does it mean, really? A quick word study in the ancient Canaanite offers a little clarification. The original text here most likely translate as, I caused to be. And that comes from the New Beacon Bible Commentary. Suddenly, God's name has a lot more action to it. Who are you? asks Moses. We can read in God's answer something like this. I am the one who caused you to be. I am the one who caused the world to be. My very name expresses my creative power. The world is because I caused it to be. You are because I am. What can you say when the one who calls and causes you to be tells you to go? Now, is there any other answer but yes and amen? The hymn today is Immortal, Invisible, God Only Wise by Walter Chalmers Smith. To all life thou givest, to both great and small. And from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 15, verse 16. When your words came, I ate them. They were my joy and my heart's delight. For I bear your name, Lord God Almighty. And that is your daily devotion for Tuesday, September the 6th. Have a blessed day.